but all right, you guys are good whenever. Again, seeing the. Oh, look at the Fuda. We are again seeing the Falcon Rosalina matchup, and I'm not sure I agree with number six. Oh, okay, if he re if Jinja would have reacted faster, he okay. Well, forget what I said. I thought we could have seen a bare knee, but he got the stock a few seconds later, regardless. And. Again, wow, how unfortunate. I don't. I think he still had his jump, but I guess he thought he didn't need it. But he loses his stock right there. But that's okay, because he's looking quite good right now. Okay, not the spike hitbox. So, number six is living. Dangerous position for Jinta, but he will get back on stage. And back throw. All right, good spacing on the down air. Doesn't get punished. Okay, Rogue Raptor Boost from Genta. I do not agree with it. All right, down throw knee, and that's going to be game one. All right, so good stuff to Genta taking the first game with authority right there. So, let's see. What will we, okay, I think we're going to see another Dreamline counter. We're not going to see the switch to Bayonetta this time, though. I guess he's more... I think he's definitely more confident in his Rosalina because he's been, you know, trekking through the loser's bracket with her and doing quite well. So I can understand. At the same time... At the same time, Bayonetta still has a better matchup against this character. But because he keeps losing to Gentopi's Falcon despite the matchup advantage, I think his Rosalina is definitely more polished than his Bayonetta. So I can also understand. That's another reason I can understand it. And he's looking good right now. He's got a pretty good percent lead. And we will have the up throw up air. And good tip. And trying to put the on the platform. Oh no, the knee again! And number six needs to start DIing the down throw better because he is getting, he needs to stop getting hit by that knee. There's no reason he should be getting hit by that. As long as you DI Captain Falcon down throw away, down and away, you should not be getting hit by down throw knee. All right. Oh, up throw. This could be trouble. Okay, good DI by Jinta. DIing right away. Okay, now this. Okay. Doesn't wait for the air dodge. And Jinta still living. And it's very even. Number six with the slightest percent advantage, but not the positional advantage, because Luma is gone. Okay. Now, Falcon Kick. If you can get the Falcon Kick right next to your opponent, it is a kill move. So, that's something Fatality goes for a lot that catches a lot of people off guard. So, number six needs to be careful with the Falcon Kick. Tries to go for the air edge guard with the Luma, but gets nothing. All right, too high percent for a knee, but good up air follow up. Okay, catches him with the up smash. I don't think Luma was Luma was not a part of the up smash, and Luma's not a part of this game right now because he she is gone. She is, I don't even I don't know what Luma's gender is, but I know Rosalina is a girl, and she just got taken out off the top by Jenta's up there. So again, Jenta taking the first stock and looking for more. Another down throw knee. Wow, that would have been hype if he would have gotten the knee and then the down air. Oh my goodness. So things not looking good for number six. He is at a stock advantage, disadvantage, and he was getting juggled. And now Luma is gone again. So that up smash will not close the stock. All right, the dash attack to cover the roll. All right, again, the up smash. Rosalina's up smash is being so much weaker without Luma around, though. Okay, but despite, Lu despite Rose's up smash being a lot weaker, you know, eventually anything will kill. So, finally gets that first stock, and a lot of damage coming through with the rapid jabs. So, number six, slowly but surely bringing this one back. All right, and it's basically even right now. So, good on number six. Okay, but gets hit with the raw knee. And again, a knee from Genta is going to close the game out. 
Wow. It's rare to see just a raw knee with no combo starter to kill, but he just goes for it. And we're going to see the Bayonetta come out this time. So he's saying, all right, the Rosalina not working out so far. So we will see the Bayonetta, and let's see what the counter pick will be. Okay, we're going to Duck Hunt. Interesting. I thought we were going to see Town and City, because I think that's probably one of Bayonetta's best stage, because she likes to kill off the top quite a bit. Uh-oh. Oh, let's go for the four. Okay. Genta Relentless wants to get to Grand Finals, saying, I really don't have time for this Bayonetta shenanigans, and I want you gone immediately. All right, we're going to see the side beat. And things looking pretty even after the beginning onslaught by Jinta. All right, the Nair sending her behind him. And we're going to see, okay, tries to go side B into forward smash. And that's the kind of mix-up I don't agree with at this lower percent because it would not have killed. So it's not really worth going for. Okay. And the up smash. I would have gone for another up smash because I think this, a second one would have killed because they were very high up. Woo! All right, very clutch power field coming in from Genta right there. And oh, the air dodge read! And Genta takes the first stock with an immaculate read right there. Good, pretty good read from number six right there, reading the roll with the forward smash, but doesn't get the stock for it. Just a good bit of damage, but that doesn't matter much when he is at the disadvantage he is. All right, so we're gonna see down throw into the up airs and I don't agree with that. He should have gone for the up smash. I don't know why he went for the forward smash in that situation. Because the up smash definitely would have killed. Okay. There's the up smash right there. Same position. Different result. And number six taking the first stock from Genta. So good stuff on him. All right. So side B getting combo started. But Genta air dodges away. All right. Good Nair coming through. All right, we're going to see down throw. Okay, he bat with into the knee and getting a combo started. Getting some decent damage off of Jinta. All right, good Nair. And we're basically even again. Number six sitting at that magic percent. Okay. And we're going to see another down throw into the Nair. Oh, wow, that is it. And Jinta taking advantage. Uh, I think number six was probably DIing away on that one, and because he was DIing away, he got hit by the Nair and was still DIing away, so he died for it. I've been in that situation before where Fatality, where I DI'd his down throw away, and he hit me with something, and he hit me with the Nair, and I died off the side really early. So good stuff by Jinto right there, taking it 3-0 and making his way into Grand Finals.